Texas Republican Congressman Kevin Brady is in our newsroom to talk even more about this and help mm -hmm. us break it down and see what it means to you. Congressman Brady, thank you so much for coming and thank you also for the breakfast tacos. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to have one yet. <laughs> so what do you make of the jobs report? Is it about what you expected? Yeah, it is, but more bad news. Uh, job growth has slowed by two thirds. What we're seeing is about half of what we need just to break even in America. We need about 150, 160,000 jobs to break even. And for the president, I think it's even more troubling. This with with this June jobs report this morning, uh, he now ranks 10th of 10 economic recoveries in modern times in both the jobs created and the economic growth itself. And so that is a, a pretty tr uh, tough record to run on, especially in an election year. Congressman, Texas seems to be doing a whole lot better, keeping people employed and offering new jobs. Why, why is that? We're certainly glad about it, but, but why are we doing better and how can people learn from us? Yeah, we are doing better. I, uh, clearly, energy, uh, healthcare, trade, we're great at selling products around the world, are all sort of our hallmarks, but I think it's because we have a better business climate. I think we have a fair tax climate, fair red tape uh, climate. People are coming to Texas, not just families, businesses are coming here because they see a chance to succeed, and that's what I think uh, we're missing uh, at the national level. Well, speaking of businesses, Congressman, many business owners are concerned about the health care ruling and the health care mm -hmm. law, and a lot of the common folk are still trying to sort of make sense of it, myself included, about what the new law is going to mean to them. What's your take on the Supreme Court's ruling on uh, so-called Obamacare? You know, I think it was the wrong ruling. It certainly was most tortured reasoning. I serve on Ways and Means Committee to so to have them cite the tax portion of Obamacare as justification for that much of an expansion of the mandate uh, was very, I think, unexpected. What they did leave uh, in place was about 21 uh, new tax increases, half of which hit, uh, hit the middle class, will drive up health care costs. I'm still convinced you listen to our businesses in Texas along Main Street, they're concerned about the costs of this new health care plan. Uh, they're concerned about driving up the deficit. And uh, as uh, the federal government has already estimated, about 800,000 jobs lost because of the new president's new health care plan. So I think for most Americans, most Texans, and a lot of Texas seniors who haven't yet been hit with the Medicare cuts that will come after the election, uh, they're very worried. We have honestly had a very hard time finding patients or doctors who are happy about the changes that are to come. So what are the chances it can be repealed? You know, I think it all now hinges on the November election. The Supreme Court essentially said, look, uh, you can't, American public, you can't be saved from your political decisions. Uh, we're not going to do that for you. So it's back in your lap. So I think a, a lot depends. In fact, I know a lot depends on the November 6th election. Next week, the House will move to completely repeal Obamacare and start the process of replacing it with more common sense reforms. My guess is the Senate doesn't act as they have in the past. They continue to not act. And so it really will come down to how the public turns out to voice their belief on this plan, on the deficit, on the economy come November. Well, it's going to be an interesting summer and fall, and I know everybody's going to be very busy up there in Washington. Uh, Congressman Brady, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us. You're welcome. Thanks um, for having me. Come back and see us soon. Well,